Good evening and welcome to Christians Aren't Cheap, a beginner's guide to meditation. Oh, it was just a beautiful Easter Sunday here today. Uh, in the Fahrenheit scale, temperatures got into the 50s. Celsius scale, around the 10-11 mark. Beautiful sunshine, very little breeze. It was very, very nice, considering how long our winter has been here. <laughs> so, yeah. So I enjoyed as much of the outdoors as I could today. Had to do a little bit of housework as well, but <laughs> it was a gorgeous day. And now I find myself down here in the evening. Done my stretching, a little exercise. Now it's time for a little meditation. And also, I'm going to write down, I got this prayer journal from the uh, our daily bread group that puts out the little quarterly uh, booklet on uh, devotionals. I keep wanting to call them meditations, but they're just devotionals. And in my journal, I'm just going to write down a few of the things that I'm thankful for today. For the gorgeous weather, for the roof over my head, food in my fridge, money in my pocket, my health, my strength. Yeah. Um, and mostly for <laughs> a risen Christ. And that's what's Christians are celebrating all around the world today is a risen Christ. Amen. Amen. Let's do a little devotional. It's called Empty Hands. Robert was embarrassed when he showed up for a breakfast meeting and realized he'd forgotten his wallet. It bothered him to the point that he pondered whether he should eat at all or simply get something to drink. After some convincing from his friend, he relaxed his resistance and he and his friend enjoyed their entrees and his friend gladly paid the bill. Perhaps you can identify with this dilemma or some other situation that puts you on the receiving end. Wanting to pay our, your, our own way is normal, but there are occasions when we must humbly receive what's graciously been given. <laughs> and if you talk to my friends and family, you'll find out that I have often forgotten my wallet when going out for a meal. That's, this is crazy. Some kind of payback may have been what the younger son had in mind in Luke chapter 15, as he contemplated what he would say to his father. That's the story of the prodigal son, by the way. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me one of your hired servants. His father would have no such thing in his father's eyes he was a much-loved son who'd come home. As such, he was met with a father's embrace and an affectionate kiss. What a grand gospel picture. It reminds us that Jesus, by death, he revealed a loving father who welcomes empty-handed children with open arms. One hymn writer expressed it like this, Nothing in my hand I bring, simply to thy cross I cling. 
How does it make you feel that because Jesus has paid your sin debt, you can receive forgiveness for all your sins? If you've never received this forgiveness, what's keeping you from accepting his, this gift through Jesus? Prayer for this evening. God of heaven, help me to receive and enjoy the forgiveness you've provided through your son Jesus. Amen. <laughs> that is very cool. All right. Well, I'm going to get back to uh, writing down what I'm thankful for. You all have a good evening. We'll talk to you tomorrow.